Let's show you, Veronica. There's a landlord in Barbados. He is identified on my chat as Anthony Waterman. Okay, he drives a vehicle G84. That's how he has been identified on my chat. Now, Anthony or Mr. Waterman, I'll call him Anthony, has put some people out of one of his apartments and the argument is that he should not have because there were kids involved, young children involved. That's what they are bickering back and forth on in the chat. Now, this is my take on it. And I know, I know, I know that there are a whole lot of contradictions in things that I may say. There's a lot of hypocrisy, some may say, in the things I say, but they're the truth. What I say is the truth. If you are not a millionaire plus and you don't have the wherewithal to support a child from infancy till that child reaches the age of maturity at around 20 to 25, because some people think that, oh, 18, you just put them out. Some kids need to be watched after. Some kids, young adults need guidance for a long time. Not every child is forced ripe. Not every child is thrown out into the, the street and say, well, hey, you have to go and pick cane. You have to help me paint the house. You have to help me cook. You have to help me wash clothes. Not all kids are pushed out like that. So some children, when they are under the watchful eye of a parent or their parents, may take them 25 years to actually get out on their own. It may happen that way. So from zero years to 25, if you do not have the wherewithal, millions, millions of cash money, cash money to have a child and to support that child in the way it should be supported do not have children stop having the kids and that's where the contradictions and that's where all the hypocrisy comes in because i know that people are going to have kids people are going to get divorced after they've had kids people lose their jobs after they've had kids a lot of things can happen after you've done the deed of having a couple kids, a lot of things can come into play. But what I'm saying is, is if you don't have a million dollars for things to come into play that can put you back in the hole, if you do not have a million dollars in cash money so that you can dig into that rainy day fund to support yourself and kids, stop having kids. I'm here to speak the truth. And that's, that's the truth. If you cannot do it, don't do it. So when they're talking about this landlord and the fact that there was that there were young kids that he put out on the street, do not have kids if you cannot afford them. And a lot of people in Barbados have kids while they're poor. While there's no there is not even a dream of support. There's not even an illusion. Of, you could go into the deepest delusion. You cannot support a child, and you, you and you lay down and bring a child into the world. Stop having kids if you know you cannot support them. Stop having kids. Sherry Veronica.